Welcome back to Inside the Pride. I'm now joined by the head coach, Dan Campbell. And after that Chicago win, your team came back from behind two scores, one by one point. What did you learn about your team the most in that? Well, look, I, I think uh, more than anything, just the fact that uh, you, we know we had the fight. We've had the fight. We've crawled back into games. But I think what we really, what really showed was our discipline and our discipline to just do the little things right, trust the guy next to you, and uh, really we let them make the mistakes. I mean, they had a ton of penalties and it cost them. Mm -hmm. Your team will need discipline going up against these New York Giants. Daniel Jones takes really good care of the ball, just two interceptions on the season, and he's also very accurate. How do you throw him off balance? Yeah, I mean, look, they, they've done a good job with him. He's playing really good football right now, um, and that's a credit to this coaching staff. But he's really, this year, has really come on. He's able to do a lot of things. You see him. Uh, he can check into the proper play here. Uh, they're getting pressured. He knows he's getting pressured. He knows where his answer is, so he's got to sit in there and take this one right in the chest, which he does. He's tough enough to make an accurate throw, and then you see Slayton does the rest. So this is the type of stuff we got to deal with and be ready for. Saquon Barkley in the league's leading rusher, 931 yards on the season. How do you bottle Barkley up? Yeah, well, look, a little bit like last week when we talked about what we have to do to Fields. Now, uh, you know, Fields can throw, but it really is the same when you talk about read, run, and all these things. And I know it sounds like a broken record. You have to stop this running back, all right? You have to s slow this running back down. It would be hard to uh, stop him, but to contain him is going to do a lot to hurt Jones. And gap responsibility, we got to fit him. This old line's pretty rugged. They play pretty hard. They try to finish, and this back can run – uh, multiple schemes. They can run gap, wide zone, which this is here. He'll stretch it. One cut, he's downhill, he's explosive, he's strong, he's fast. He's got real good vision, and there again, he's got finishing speed. So, And he's good out of the backfield as a receiver. He really does it all. But, but it, man, we got to stay true to what the, our principles are and fit your gaps. Cornerback Adoree Jackson is Mr. Reliable for these Giants. He did not come off the field in all 64 snaps last week. Two passes defended. Why can't the Giants take him off the field? Well, I think you'll, you'll see it here because he can really play in multiple positions, multiple roles. They do a lot with Martindale on this defense, man. A lot in coverage, a lot of the fronts, pressure packages. Um, but this guy's pretty good now. He's got a knack. Uh, he's got vision. And, uh, and and he's playing with a lot of confidence, it really, as all these guys are. But you can see it right here. He's just waiting for this guy to break. He's sitting at the sticks, and then, bam, he's on it, and there you go. So uh, we got a lot to deal with now. It's a good team. Mm -hmm. After your, your last win in the locker room celebration, you checked off so many different boxes. Another division win, your first road win as a head coach, back-to-back. -back. What would a win against the Giants check off for your team? Well, look, I just – another win. And, uh, you know, which is what we desperately need. You know, it's an NFC. Uh, it'd be an NFC win. It would be three in a row. And I think it's just, we're at this point now, look, there's a reason why we've won the last two games. And we got to stay true to what that is and just, and improve. Now, you know, I think the key is how do we not put ourselves in the same position we were in against Chicago at the end of that game? How do we, how do we mount a lead, keep a lead, you know, and, uh, and take away those mistakes that even got us in that position. But we're on the right track right now.